case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a high-profile and complex legal matter, the Florida Supreme Court overturned the murder conviction of Michael Stoll in the 2000 case Stoll v. State. Stoll had been found guilty and sentenced to death for the murder of his wife, Julie Stoll. However, the verdict was thrown into question when the court identified significant errors in the trial, specifically involving the admissibility of certain pieces of evidence. One of the main contentions in the case revolved around hearsay evidence, testimony by someone about what another individual said outside of court. Stoll's case presented a powerful challenge to the usual rules governing the admissibility of such evidence, demanding the court to grapple with complex legal principles and exceptions. Christopher Stewart, a worker and resident of the Stoll household, testified that he committed the murder under Michael Stoll's orders. Despite this damning testimony, Michael Stoll always maintained his innocence and argued he was only involved after the murder had taken place. Providing a critical twist in the case, Julie Stoll had told Dana Martin about fears of her husband's violent behavior. The court, however, deemed this hearsay and ruled it inadmissible. Adding to the controversy, the court also rejected Julie's prior handwritten statement from a domestic violence case against her husband. The court found these errors to be sufficiently serious to grant the appeal, reverse the conviction, and call for a new trial. In their judgment, they held that the state had failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that these errors didn't contribute to the original guilty verdict. The decision in Stoll v. State underscores the landmark and often contested role that hearsay exceptions and rules play in criminal cases, especially with their potential to sway a case's outcome significantly. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.